Hello friends, it is Danny, and welcome to my 2016 bookshelf tour. As you can see, now I have three shelves, and yes, I did film this like two hours after I filmed my bookshelf reorganization video. Aren't they, aren't they beautiful? Can we just take a minute to bask in their gloriousness? Like, like look, can we just, can we just? So I am just going to start with this shelf and work my way down each shelf and I will put little time slot framey thingies along the bottom area here if you just want to check out one shelf or if you want to watch all three. Hey, stay for the whole video. Without further ado, let's go. Welcome to the top shelf of the far left bookshelf. This shelf is pretty much YA dystopian alien sci-fi and one set of paranormal books. And then it obviously features my Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales by the Grimm Brothers that Gwen got for me. So we're gonna move this out of the way and then start over there. These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Their Fractured Light by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. This is the third book in the Starbound trilogy, but I don't have the second book. The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. Press by Marissa Meyer. Winter by Marissa Meyer. Stars Above by Marissa Meyer, which is the Lunar Chronicles collection of short stories. Fairest by Marissa Meyer. Lux Beginnings by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is a bind up of the first two books in the Lux series. And it is Obsidian and Onyx. Lux Consequences by Jennifer L. Armentrout, the third and fourth book in the series, which is Opal and Origin. Lux Opposition by Jennifer L. Armentrout, the fifth and final book of the series, as well as the bonus prequel, which is Shadows. Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi. Through the Evernight by Veronica Rossi. Into the Still Blue by Veronica Rossi. Paranormalcy by Kirsten White. Supernaturally by Kirsten White and Endlessly by Kirsten White. We are now at the second shelf. This is mostly YA dystopian, but I think there are a couple of fantasy books in here. So I'm going to move my snow globe. First we have City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Divergent by Veronica Roth. I would insert Insurgent here, but Tyler currently has a copy of that, um, and it would be in between Divergent and this book, which is Allegiant by Veronica Roth. Four by Veronica Roth, The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins, Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins, Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi, Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi, Ignite Me by Tahara Mafi, Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rash, Ice Like Fire by Sarah Rash, The One by Kiara Cass, which is book three of the selection series. I have read the first two, I just don't own them yet, but I will eventually. The Air by Kiara Cass, The Siren by Kiara Cass, Delirium by Lauren Oliver, Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver, Requiem by Lauren Oliver, and The Delirium Stories about Hannah, Annabelle, and Raven by Lauren Oliver. This is the third shelf, which is mostly continuation of YA fantasy, YA dystopian. First is Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Between the Lines by Samantha Van Leer and Jodie Picoult. Off the Page by Samantha Van Leer and Jodie Picoult. The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Madly by Amy Alward. Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Pate. Eat Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. Awakening by Shannon Duffy. Control by Lydia Kang. Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater. Linger by Maggie Stiefvater. Forever by Maggie Stiefvater. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Kiss by an Angel Bind Up by Elizabeth Chandler, which has Kiss by an Angel, The Power of Love, and Soulmate. Evercross by Elizabeth Chandler and Everlasting by Elizabeth Chandler. This is the final shelf on the far left and it mainly consists of all of the YA dystopian and fantasy etc that I either only have the first book of or the first two books of and really didn't fit above in the other shelves. First we have All Our Yesterdays by Kristen Terrell, Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld, The Gates by John Connolly, it is also signed, The Book of Lost Things by John Connolly, The Isle of the Lost by Melissa De La Cruz, Earthbound by April and Pike, Even Adam by Michael Grant and Catherine Applegate, Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear, Sapphire Blue by Kirsten Gear. 
Dune by Carrie Corp and Lori Langdon. The Other Normals by Ned Vizzini. Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Anomaly by Tanya Cooper. Let the Sky Fall by Shannon Messenger. Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. The Book of Ivy by Amy Engel. Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Reboot by Amy Tintera. The Echoes by Laura Tisdale. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Rigg. Haunted by Lynn Carthage. Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Cause it rhymes. We are now very unsteadily at the top of the middle shelf. This is where we start getting into YA romance and YA fiction. First up is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Landline by Rainbow Rowell. Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. Paper or Plastic by Vivi Barnes. Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Say What You Will by Cami McGovern. Whatever Life Throws at You by Julie Cross. Me Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. Just One Day, Just One Year, and the short story Just One Night all by Gail Foreman. If I Stay and Where She Went by Gail Foreman. One by Sarah Crossan. All five of the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants books by Anna Brashares. Now onto the second shelf. It's basically a continuation of YA Contemporary and Romance. First we have Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, Isla and the Happily Ever After, and My True Love Gave to Me by Stephanie Perkins. This one has a lot more authors, but it was edited and created by Stephanie Perkins. Pushing the Limits and Crash Into You by Katie McGarry, Second Chance Summer, Since You've Been Gone, Amy and Roger's Epic Detour, all by Morgan Matson. I have read other books by her under her Katie Finn name on my Kindle and maybe if you guys want give this video a thumbs up and I will do a Kindle bookshelf tour as well. The Distance Between Us and The Fill-In Boyfriend by Casey West, Extraordinary Means by Robin Schneider, Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider, My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick, 15th Summer and 16th Summer both by Michelle Dalton, The Fault in Our Stars, Let It Snow, An Abundance of Catherines, and Looking for Alaska all by John Green, but Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle have both written stories in Let It Snow, This Lullaby by Sarah Dessen, The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen, and Dreamland by Sarah Dessen. And here we have a continuation of YA contemporary romance as well as some LGBTAQ stories. Um, and one that is missing that will eventually go here is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Insert cover here. First I have Perfect Chemistry, Rules of Attraction, and Chain Reaction all by Simone Elkeles. Girl Online and Girl Online on Tour by Zoe Sugg. To All the Boys I've Loved Before, Yes I Still Love You, and It's Not Summer Without You all by Jenny Han. One Man Guy by Michael Barakiva. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alir Sainz. Red Heart Tattoo. Two, reaching Through Time, The Year of Luminous Love, which is an autographed copy somewhere, I'm pretty sure, there we go. The End of Forever, which is also an autographed copy, Hit and Run, which is also, again, an autographed copy, Keep Me in Your Heart, which is three novels, Saving Jessica, Telling Christina Goodbye, and Letting Go of Lisa, my favorite out of all of them, which is True Love, which is also three books. Don't Die My Love, I'll Be Seeing You, and A Rose for Melinda. Too Young to Die, A Season for Goodbye, I Want to Live, Reach for Tomorrow, Angels Watching Over Me, Last Dance, All the Days of Her Life, Another Copy of Telling Christina Goodbye, Lifted Up by Angels, No Time to Cry, When Happily Ever After Ends, all by Lurleen McDaniel, and the final book on this shelf that I don't think too many people know about is Never 18 by Megan Bostick. This is the last shelf on the middle shelf. First up we have Take Me There, Something Like Fate, So Much Closer, All I Need, Now and Forever, and Keep Holding On, All by Suzanne Colasanti. Next up is Shaken, Say You Will, End of Days, with and Sketches, all by Eric Walters, The Book of Luke by Jenny O'Connell, Zach and Mia by AJ Betts, the Secret Life of Prince Charming by Deb Coletti. Wicked Sweet by Marcy Merrill. I also have a signed copy of Not That Kind of Girl by Siobhan Vivian.
North of Beautiful by Justina Chen Headley, The Popularity Rules by Abby McDonald, Flirting in Italian by Lauren Henderson, Reunited by Hilary Wiseman Graham, Fan Art by Sarah Tregay, Everybody Sees the Ants by A.S. King, Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac and Elsewhere by Gabrielle Zevin, the Romance Readers Book Club by Julie L. Cannon, and Goddess Boot Camp by Tara Lynn Childs. We are now officially on the final bookshelf, which is my brand new bookshelf. And this is the top shelf of it, which is basically middle grade. So first up, we have The Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, The Goblet of Fire, Half-Blood Prince, and The Deathly Hollows. Obviously, these are the Harry Potter books that I just dropped, all by JK Rowling. Next up, I have the Twilight Special 10th Anniversary Edition, uh, which also features Life and Death, The Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, and not that it is a part of the series, but I also have The Host, all by Stephanie Meyer. All five of the Percy Jackson books by Rick Riordan, the Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian. And finally, I have The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. Coming down to this shelf, this is now all of adult, new adult. First up I have Fifty Shades of Grey, the movie cover edition. Fifty Shades of Grey, the normal cover edition. Fifty Shades Darker, Fifty Shades Freed, and Grey, all by E.L. James. Then I have Bared to You, Reflected in You, and Entwined with You, all by Sylvia Day. Beautiful Disaster, Walking Disaster, Beautiful Oblivion, and Beautiful Redemption, all by Jamie McGuire. I also have the book that follows this on my Kindle, Come Away With Me by Karma Brown. The Vincent Boys, Because of Low, and While It Last, all by Abby Glines, and Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover, Chasing River by K.A. Tucker, Safe Haven, The Last Song, and The Lucky One, all by Nicholas Sparks, and finishing off this shelf is Billy and Me, and You're the One That I Want by Giovanna Fletcher. Down to my third shelf, I have all of my classics as well as all of my graphic novels. Sagas Volume 1 through 5 by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. Miss Marvel Volume 1, 2, and 3 by Wilson and Maya Zawa Bondak. Sex Criminals Volume 1 and Volume 2 by Matt Fraction and Chip Zdarsky. Fables Volume 1 Legends in Exile by Will Willingham, Bill Willingham, Lan Medita, Stephen Laola, and Craig Hamilton. Rat Queens Volume 1 by Curtis J. Wabe and Rock Up Church. Alex and Ada Volume 1 by Jonathan Luna and Sarah Vaughn. The Wicked and the Divine Volume 1 by Jillian McLev and Wilson Cowles. And the last graphic novel, which is Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. The classics, the Arthur Rackham fairy tale book, which is basically all the old Grimm's fairy tales. Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, The Grimm's Brothers Fairy Tales, Your Island by Robert L. Stevenson, as well as these next three, which is Gulliver's Travels, Kidnapped, and Robinson Crusoe, all by different authors, but they are not labeled on the books, and I'm not about to open them up to find out. Then we have This Mammoth of Les Mis by Victor Hugo. Then I have The Great Gatsby and Other Stories by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Black Beauty by Anna Savell. Another copy of Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Now we're going into more of like the classic kid novels like Charlotte's Web by E.B. White, The Giver by Lois Lowry, Matilda by Roald Dahl, Mr. Popper's Penguins by Richard and Florence Atwater, The Borrowers by Mary Norton, The Little Princess by Frances Hodgkin Burnett, The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton, Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, and The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Now on to the last shelf. This is pretty much the shelf where I just kind of threw all the leftovers over books that I didn't know where to put or didn't have room for. All I Know Now by Carrie Hope Fletcher, Writing Great Books for Young Adults and Writing New Adult Fiction by Deborah Halverson, and this one's by Regina L. Brooks. This Mammoth of a Book That is Under the Dome by Stephen King, Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, My Sister's Keeper by Jodi Picoult, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, The Help by Katherine Stockett, Woven by Michael Jensen and David Powers King, Aragon by Christopher Paolini, Cloaked by Alex Flynn, Awakening and Reckoning both by Kelly Armstrong. The first one is called The Summoning, The Gathering also by Kelly Armstrong, A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness, High Hawaii by B.A. Smith, 
Notice Me by Rebecca Turley, Light to Eternity by J.R. Harrison, Perfect Match by Ernest Barrett, and the last book on my bookshelves is Wicked by Gregory Maguire. All right, friends, so that is the end of my bookshelf tour. I am currently holding the camera all selfie-like because my uh, tripod is currently like collapsed from working on the last shelf and I didn't feel like setting it back up just to say goodbye. I am so, so happy with the layout that I have now. Um, comment down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought and what you're excited to hear my thoughts on for the books that I haven't read yet. Also, like I said before, give this video a thumbs up if you would like me to do a Kindle and Kobo style uh, book tour, bookshelf tour thing because of all the ebooks and things that I have on my iPad and phone and apps and Kindle and such. That is it for this video, you guys. I probably will not be doing another bookshelf tour until next year because it's like a yearly thing because I only change it up like once a year, maybe. Hi, Fendi. Say hi. Say hi, guys. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching my video. Hope that you really enjoyed the show. Hit the subscribe button down below.